there is a very nice work done by Greg on topic modeling with language model using data from my first million podcast and you can also watch his uh, YouTube video for more detail. He used GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 with OpenAI embeddings and PineCon. I follow exactly the same methodology as was by the Craig, but with the open source model. Let's have a look at the code. I'll give you an overview of these codes. First, we install the necessary packages that we need to run this notebook. And we get data from the GitHub. Okay, so this data is there and the Langchain tutorial trunk data and we have a transcripts here so we can download these transcripts from our GitHub. And then we also install a package called chat open LLM. Okay, so first we import the necessary packages there for the Langchain basics. We have vector store retrievals. We have the chain chat prompt templates. So let's first we clone the chat open LLM package for the Vicuna 33 billion model with a 8k sequence of length here. So chat open LLM model is our new package that we are working on. The purpose of this package is actually to be able to run open source models like chat open AI in this format here chat open AI. You can clone it from the GitHub and then this is just an example if you want to run a model with for example with the Llama tokenizer and Llama for Quasal then you can use chat Llama here. Since we are using this model there with the Kuna 33 billion parameter model so we can use this model with this chat GPTQ. Okay, so you can use this chat function for any model that has with the auto tokenizer and then auto GPTQ for casual uh, LM model. Okay, so and then you can also like use other models with long chat 7B GPTQ or you can use 13B with GPTQ to run these models. You can use on ProCollab, but in order to run this model, I think we need a bit high RAM. And for this purpose, actually, I use a run pod with this RTX A6000 with 48 GB VRAM and it costs like 0.59 dollars per hour. But you can run this notebook just only like 35 minutes. Okay, so after we have installed this package, now we can run our model. As we specified, as explained a little bit, you can use here chat open LLM. And you can just specify your model over here. Uh, I didn't load it in four bits. I just was to run it in more with the more power. Okay, we just look at first now with the transcape 280. So just look at brief of the data. Okay, then we import our hugging face embeddings. So I use here E5 large V2 embeddings, and then we specify it as the chief. Okay, so we load our data. I'm using exactly the same character as was by the Greg in his notebook so that we just be able to compare with the GPT 3.5 or 4 model with the open eye source models. Okay, so then we extract the topic title and the so short description. So you are helpful assistant that helps retrieve topics talk about a podcast transcript your goal is to extract the topic name in brief one sentence description of the topic and the topic includes like biz themes we have business ideas int interesting stories making money money making business quick stories about people mental framework and others we just specify and then we also give an example here as was done by originally by the greek one Okay, and then we specify our system message prompt template, human message prompt template. Okay, so we just specify this. We just put the template over here and then we human template and then we run this one. Okay, then we combine our prompt which will run over the result of the map prompt above. Okay, so then we use our extract topics per custom prompts. So we load the summarize chain. We take this chat 
prompt map and chat prompt combined from the above here so we just put this and then this and we just place it over here okay we run this chain and then we call it as topic found so the topic we have here is the so the first one is the making friend it emit it which then we have something about ninja pouch okay and then we have the talent level in recent harvest so we can just look at and compare some of the topics that was found by the Craig. So we see here, he, t he just talked about uh, Twitch here. Okay, so he has the, the working with the recent hallways. So this is what we have. Smith discussed her experience in recent hallways, mentioning her remote work and one here. So what we found with this method is the the tenant level at the horizon so it's uh, the topic level is the topic title is a bit different than he found then so the conversation touch on a high level talent found at the Jason Horvitz with notable people like Mar and Jason others okay so similarly we can look some other we can also compare here this is the Sean strategy is twitch here so I, I found it in the top here so it's a different one so making friend with Emmett it twitch here and then he talked about actually more here working at Twitch and embarrassing interesting opportunities. So we can see some similarities over here. Then we look at the fractional real estate opportunity that is found by the Greg Rich. And then we have the escape room business success. So we can find some of the topics here in the bottom too. So we have the real estate versus fractional real estate. So the podcast explains the difference between the real estate between the commercial real estate which is traditionally used for offices and others okay then we have the fractional real estate so topic of the fractional real estate was introduced discussing the potential for use for the gym and rage room so you can see something similar here where we have introduced real estate solutions to commercial and discuss example of real estate nightclub use as a yoga studio rooms okay so we see some similarities between the sentences here also the last one is the like the Hamsun Williams Cape room success you can see the same share the story of this William and then if we just scroll down he ultimately sold it for 26 million so escape room for business success you see story discuss the same thing here and then uh, we see it's selling it for 26 million so yes i think the results are quite promising with this open with open source model as well just like the the open ai models okay so the next step is that we we want to convert this unstructure turn your output into structured data as done by the by the gray and use here open ai call a function here so i tried just try to do it with the with the core and turn LLM output into a structure. So we use, we de define some core schema here and then we import our libraries. We use the create underscore extraction underscore chain and then we run our model and let's print out the output here. So we have the tag name, description, the company name. I think some improvement is needed here because it picks some of the tags which we, we, we have not specified here or else you can also share your, your opinion on it how to improve this one so like specify business model life advice and stories but this model is just uh, use some of the things from own i think th that's not too bad i mean still but so you talk about for example the ninja post ninja post streamer getting pushed by the microsoft and tag it as the industry event so yes i must say that still the results are quite promising yet I just take all these output, the topic structure output, and then I put it to convert it into a CSV, probably like which is more easy to read and for the reading purposes. Next we do is to we expand on a topic with the Chroma DB multi-doc retriever lang chain. So if you just look at with the Greek one, he used yeah is with the OpenAI embeddings and then use the pine cone. So I, I try to use with the Chroma DB and then from the hugging face embedding, we create a vector and then we use the retriever uh, as four just to catch like four relevant docs, same as done by the Greg. And then we specify our the uh, next prompt here. And then we use it as a retrieval QA from chain. So LLM stuff, retriever, the chat prompt everything the same here the only difference is that he is using only with the pine cone or the open eye embeddings so we just have the same step here except with the models that we are using 
Okay, and then I just import it from the CSV. I thought it looks easier and it looks good. So we can see here now that working it to it, it's, I think it it's, it's looks better now that we have two columns with short descriptions here. And then we have embracing interesting opportunities, you know, and then explain some just a one one sentence kind of description that as we specified in the prompt. And then we have, for example, if you look at the last one, the talent level of recent harvest, and then we have the short descriptions here. Okay, so the lastly we do is with the time stamps. Everything is same, only it is now the prompt is different. So we specify this prompt here and then we, we just put it here. The chat prompt and chat prompt here, everything is just same, the model and the stuff as we have done previously. So we input our data as I put in the CSV. It's, it's doing good. I mean, we, we, it's give us the time here now and, and you can also verify it with the original text then one. However, it requires some improvement, I, I must say that, because we really wanted is to have some just the topic, but it, it has given some more detail. Thank you for watching this video.